Welcome everybody, my name is Mike, and today we're gonna kick off this series on environment variables. This will be our first video in a short two-part series. Um, today we're gonna talk about why you should use environment variables and some of the benefits of those things. So uh, think of some common usage scenarios, like I have a bunch of flows uh, that my developers are working on and they all need to connect to the same SharePoint list or the same SharePoint site. Um, or maybe you have a scenario where uh, you're managing different environments. So dev, test, production, and you need to be able to move from dev to test and production and manage, let's say a different system notification email or maybe um, a connection variable, for example, across those different environments. So those are just some sample scenarios of where you're gonna be able to leverage environment variables uh, to your benefit. So in this video, I'm simply gonna highlight the five key benefits that I think you get by using environment variables. So the first reason that I wanna highlight uh, where environment variables are valuable is that it gives you one source of truth for a particular thing. So think of a scenario where you have multiple developers all working on the same solution. Uh, so maybe somebody's building the Canvas app, somebody else is building a flow, uh, and maybe there's a whole other you know, uh, set of flows that are being built to do something. Uh, so you have multiple people working on that thing, and the reality is all of the data, for example, comes from one SharePoint site collection or maybe a single SharePoint list, um, just as an example. So having a single place where that URL is defined is gonna be very important for all of those developers. Um, so the last thing that you want to do is have each developer going in and hard coding their own version of that URL um, into their flow um, and then having to manage that separately in all of your different flows and your apps. So that single source of truth is hugely important when you have a team of developers. So that leads me to the second reason why environment variables are important, and that is they're easy to reference. So in that scenario where you've got a team of de developers all working on different flows, different apps within a solution, the reality is you wanna make it easy for them to get at a specific value. Um, so if it's that SharePoint list, that URL, for example, you don't want them to have to remember that all the time and plug that in. Uh, the reality is if they're in a flow, they can just reference that variable, trust that it's gonna be correct, um, and it's easy. All of that stuff is built into um, flow, for example, in terms of the dynamic content that you select when you're uh, configuring your actions. So all of that just makes the whole process of building flows, building apps easier. That then leads me to the third important reason, and that is just ease of adjustment. So the reality is if you have that single source of truth, that one environment variable that defines that URL to the site collection where your data is stored or where you're retrieving some data, and that needs to change, it makes it easy to change in one place. So think of a scenario where maybe you built you know, 10 different flows that all reference that library for whatever purpose. Um, the last thing you wanna have to do is change that value in all of those different places. If you can change it in a single place in that environment variable, the entire solution uh, gets that change applied and you're good to go. So that's a huge thing. So each of the things I've talked about previously kind of flow into this one, which is it facilitates collaboration on your dev team. So um, if, you're, if you've got a dev team and they're all working on the same solution, um, if you have environment variables that define things like your SharePoint list or maybe a form ID if you're using Microsoft Forms for some sort of intake um, or any of those things, if you're able to configure those things in a central location, um, it just makes it easier across the board uh, to collaborate with your team. So rather than, you know, posting a message in Teams and saying, "Hey, I just updated, you know, this URL. I created a new site collection, or I added a new form um, because I had to rebuild the form, and so it, it has a new ID. So everybody, go change your stuff. You can go change that in an environment variable and simply say, "Hey, the, the form has been updated, and nobody has to make any changes, right? Because it's all done in that environment variable. So it just makes that whole process of collaboration less messy. Um, people aren't, you know, wondering, you know, did I miss the message? Uh, did I miss something that I was supposed to update? Um, it's just kind of all taken care of for them. And the last thing that I wanted to highlight today is that environment variables truly are one of the big things that facilitate app lifecycle management. So if you're in a scenario where you have a, a bunch of developers working on a solution, maybe in their own developer environments or in a single shared dev environment, but ultimately you're going to export that solution and take it to a test environment and then ultimately to a production environment, environment variables is one of the key things that makes that happen. So think of a scenario where um, you're using you know, different uh, Microsoft Forms, for example, for dev, test, and prod, or maybe you have a different 
uh, system notification email um, that needs to be set depending on whether or not you're in dev, test, or prod. Where is the place that you would set that? And that is going to be your environment variable. So you can set it in dev, have that go to the team of developers, right, as, as the notification email. But then ultimately, once it gets to production, you want to be able to send those system notifications to the person who is responsible for managing the production environment. Um, and so environment variables gives you a way to do that. If you didn't have that and people had all of that stuff hard-coded, you would not be able to deploy managed solutions that can't be monkeyed with to a production environment. You would have to deploy them as unmanaged, which then leaves open some security holes. And so that's not ideal at all. So that's a key thing that you get with environment variables. So those are the key benefits that I wanted to talk to you about today in terms of environment variables and how you can leverage them to make your solutions better in the Power Platform. If you're interested in learning more about how to use environment variables or maybe how to create them and use them in a Power App or a Flow, uh, feel free to check out this video link that we're gonna post uh, to the next video in the series. Um, and that'll kind of show you where you can get started in leveraging it in your own solutions. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post those below. And as always, if you enjoyed this content and wanna see more of it, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.